It's scary. Mm -hmm. This is too loud for your meeting. Tell me. No, I go in there. Okay. Sorry. I need to talk. I don't want to like. You don't want the world to know. <laughs> I don't like messy with my So, good afternoon. Welcome to the Roads and Right of Ways Committee meeting uh, for October the 31st, uh, conducted uh, via Zoom and in person, hybrid meeting, um, pursuant to the Chapter 2 of Acts of 2023. Please note this meeting is being recorded and all attendees uh, are asked to identify themselves uh, if they're on the Zoom connection. Uh, the chair will conduct a roll call for attendance. For all votes, the Zoom participants are asked to identify themselves and your name will be noted under your connection. Um, all Zoom participants are asked to mute their devices unless addressing the committee. Uh, any uh, members from the public uh, will be invited to speak after um, the members of the committee have spoken. Um, with that said, uh, we'll conduct a roll call. Alan Reinhardt. Here. Lee Saperstein. Here. Rick Atherton. Here. Bill Smith. Here. Nelson Eldridge. Here. Ed Gillum. Here. Uh, we will stop and uh, note if uh, Nat or Rob uh, join us. So the first. Uh, item on the agenda is I get to it. Approval of minutes of October the fourth, twenty twenty three. Motion to approve. Motion to approve by uh Ricky. We have a second. Second. By Alan, uh, any comments? Uh, hearing none, uh, we will have to roll call. Alan Reinach. Aye. Lee Saperstein. Aye. Rick Atherton. Aye. Bill Smith. Aye. Smithy Eldred. Aye. Ed Gillum. Aye. She has said that. Thank you. Um, a quick follow up on uh, two items. Uh, Bill, before we start, yeah, in light of uh, the accident on Main Street, I've already sent a note to Erica and um, Mike Burns. When I was dean at Missouri, we had a uh, 250 uh, kW reactor in the middle of campus. It was put there in a healthier, saner time. And the reactor director comes to me and he says, I don't know what to do. NRC wants us to put crash proof barriers around the reactor. And I don't really want to put those ugly Jersey barriers in our parking lot. And I said, Dave, why don't we get some lovely round concrete planters and put them in place and then encourage the staff to adopt them for our gardens and flowers and planters. So basically we had flower beds around the reactor. It would one planter in front of that fountain and nobody had ever hit it again. That's my that's my offer. So you wrote this letter to Erica and Mike Burns. We we did public comment and get the whole town to react. Yeah. <laughs> That'll keep attention on the perpetrator. Yeah. Carefully. <laughs> exactly. Carefully, it could become like the Civil War monument obstruction on Main Street, and and then it'll become a quasi rotary, huh? Okay. <laughs> um, uh, so, two uh, brief follow ups uh, concerning uh, the uh, DEP Chapter 91 hearing on the petrol landing, um, as well as uh, the question about uh, appointing a 
was a right of ways person liaison to the traffic safety committee. Um, uh, just to recap, uh, what role was asked to attend the chapter 91 uh, hearing that was to do with uh, the Mickey Rowland House, uh, the demo uh, or the move, uh, as well as uh, the property on the other side of Petrol Landing where they land bank, I believe, hopes to broker a deal to land the house over there. Um, uh, Rick went uh, as, an, as an individual member and Alan was there with um, whether an individual member, a land bank member, or was a right for anyway. Um, so two members did go. Um, neither spoke for uh, uh, the committee, but expressed their own views. Um, and uh, in talking with Jesse Bell, uh, she asked me if uh, we would send a letter of support uh, to the process. Uh, what I did was I said I couldn't speak for the board, but um, in reviewing the application, um, uh, let's see, I said the Rosa Right of Ways Committee is appointed by the sort board uh, and gave the, the appointment uh, process to reserve um, public roads and et cetera. Um, the, we talked about how uh, in the letter I stated that we had discussed moving um, the building and, uh, and that it's a park uh, next door to it and removal of the building will make it an easier uh, access uh, to, the, to that area for the public. And I said the road and, road and right of ways is not opposed to the move of the structure. So I submitted that um, and I, I thought we were all to it away. Um, subsequently, uh, when we had the sidewalk discussion, uh, renovation uh, in front of the um, Seven Seas gift shop, the old Seven Seas gift shop, um, we talked about um, requesting uh, this board asked that we request a liaison from our committee uh, to the traffic safety committee um, i checked with the traffic safety committee chair and um, he thought it was a good idea but we had to go through the process and as mike burns told us we needed to go through the town manager uh, which i did i sent a request we were um, told that it was outside of our purview um, subsequently this board asked that Alan and I meet with the town manager just to plead our case. Um, I sent that in, uh, copied to Alan, and uh, the response back um, was uh, that the town manager stood by her initial comments on the request, which was uh, no need for the right of ways committee to um, be involved as having a rep on the traffic safety study committee. Um, this group had not been involved in it, meaning I group. Uh, if questions arise, they're in handicap or anything else, um, the tradition of disability is there and the preservation planner is consulted. When I asked about the follow up for the meeting, uh, the town manager's response was she stood by her previous response. Um, and then additionally, uh, commented on the letter that I sent. Um, to the chapter 91 uh, group. And I'll read it directly so that I don't misquote it. Uh, it said, if the Roads and Right of Ways Committee wishes to correspond with any agency outside of the town, please forward any draft correspondence to the town administration office in advance so we may review it to ensure that it is not contrary to town position or policies. Uh, I'm referring to your letter about the petrol landing. Um, fortunately, I believe the committee's letter is not contrary to anything. However, we request it as up uh, before you formally comment. So that's the response uh, on both of those items. Um, and uh, as I said, I was at the directors of this board and I wanted to report back um, to what that was. Um, at this point, 
uh, we'll note that for the record that uh, Nat Lowell has, has joined us at uh, 411. Thank you, Mary. So that's the, the two items on those two letters and uh, we're happy to answer any questions or we'll move on to the next item. Basically, basically he told us to stay in our lane. She didn't say anything. On regards she to the uh, house, no, no. I heard that <laughs> Tuscana looked at it and said that it cannot be moved because it's too tall. The wire, the, the heavy wiring yeah. for a national grid in the area. Oh, how <clears throat> about the building? Which no, no, it's reinforced still. Mickey Rowan. Yeah, I know that. Oh, okay. that's good. Yeah. Wow. So, um, Rick, you had your hand up first. I did. Um, so I think in addition to the actual ending, we have a letter from Libby about um, our concern about sidewalk uh, restoration and so forth. And I think the committee ought to review the contents of her response. It mm -hmm. seems to be, and I don't do I want to read too much into that, but it it makes some pretty clear statements that she doesn't feel we're into sidewalks in a general way. And then she has some specific what, what, so, What's the date on that? And do, and do we have uh, copies? I think we've all received it from Bill. It's from Libby Gibson, uh, dated September 21. The Bill Green are copied Mike Burns and Andrew Patnode. Yeah. How do you pronounce Patnode? Patnode. Patnode. I just say Drew. It's Andrew called it's Drew. Drew. <laughs> Is through or anyway, got you. So, but I think you know we mm -hmm. spend a lot of time on sidewalks here, exactly, and they're uh, already public ways. And mm -hmm. whether that's our purview in terms of how they're to be constructed, you know, I mean, she's essentially raising that issue. Right. I, uh, I I happen to agree, and and uh, well, I was going to do a follow up and say if in fact. That is, it is not within our purview, or uh, we're being told that it's not of our concern, then we should remove it from our uh, ongoing project. Um, right now, uh, we've got uh, part of our project list is follow the implementation of downtown sidewalk improvements. Um, right. Yeah. And so, if it's outside of our purview, then we, and that, you know, we take it off and we stop tracking. So, uh, I, Phil, the at our last meeting, uh, I thought that what we were asking was for for Bill and Alan to go and meet with Libby and find out what she thinks our quote unquote purview is. So it's much broader than just this one isolated <clears throat> situation. I thought you guys were going to be able to find out. You know, hey, wh wh where do you see us? You know, what what is our job? What do you see as our job? Unfortunately, she interpreted your request as a a, a specific matter, which is one much smaller than the the bigger question. Is you know, we, we talk about sidewalks, we talk about all these different things, and and now we're left guessing as to what we think she thinks our job is and I, I think that i really do think that you guys a couple of you guys need to sit down with her and find out where, where, where does she think our uh, our role is in this alan yeah i i agree that that should happen um remember that roads and right of way is an advisory committee to the select board that's our role and we do have a pretty clear mission statement um that we worked on for a yeah. while, a mission statement and a vision statement. It's on our website as well. And I've always, I had always assumed as chairman of this committee since 2005, that anything that dealt with public access was under our purview because we are the roads and right of way committee. And that's what led to placing the public way monuments around the island. That's why we've done the uh, some of the other things like supporting uh, the surfside takings and other takings around the island and so on. That's what we do. We give advice 
And it's just that, it's just advice. They can do whatever they want with it. But um, the surprising thing about this memo is that I've always felt we had a very good working relationship with them. That if we had an issue here, I could talk with Mike Burns who would could address it, or I could talk to Erica who was on the, um, the traffic safety committee, she could address it or whatever. It was that kind of direct communication with the people who can actually do, you know, make the decisions and have the power to do whatever. The sidewalks were, that was particularly annoying because we spent so much time. I think we spent over two years going up and down every and Alan, you know, but the good news is that there's a million dollars a year in the exactly in the building budget because <laughs> of our effort well wow. exactly and i i agree i think that's one of the uh achievements of this this committee over the years that plus the public way monuments plus you know a number of the other recommendations that we've made so um I suppose you know it wouldn't hurt to have a meeting with Libby if she was well. You could sit down with her and say, "This is this was the the mission statement. This was the vision statement." Right. We, clearly, we thought <laughs> exactly that what yeah. we've been doing and talking about falls under this, yeah. and yeah. It appears that you don't agree with that. Right. Matt, uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, twenty years on this committee. God help me. Um, I not that when I yet. saw this email go out for the traffic safety committee, Pat, and then this, I kind of had a feeling that this was going to happen. Without getting into any criticisms, or I'm not going to go there because there's so many different moving paths. I'm not going to do that. But I will back up what Alan is talking about. Um, encroachment policy. Remember that? Right. I do. How is that not part of sidewalks? I mean, it is, but not like, okay, we're going to rebuild this sidewalk on Fair Street. The, the Friendship Steps part was our, she asked us mm -hmm. to change the policy. Exactly. Well, modify the policy about some of these odd encroachment things that are not really encroachments. I mean, John was on the committee then. And I remember saying, we can't like make it either it's an encroachment or it isn't. It has to be, okay, this is okay. This is a historic encroachment. Put it on their tax, uh, on their plot plan. Mm. And they need to be taxed on that. Like there's something we came mm. up with, but it doesn't mean it's illegal it has to be taken out like that's insanity but that's the kind of stuff we were working on it was yeah. all in town that, that elements of that are on the dpw uh, website with with the modified encroachment yeah. policy as we suggested i, I, I know and, and i think the way to approach this phil you're new okay mm -hmm. is there's a lot of people a lot of well a lot of say in this that isn't from one group Mm -hmm. The Traffic Safety Committee is appointed by Libby. That is not a select board, just so you guys know that. That is not a select board committee. They're doing more stuff with some of the, it's like a crossover. Like there's a lot of crossover in this stuff that we're talking about. Yeah. Okay. Prospect Street. How many miles did we walk up and down Prospect Street, mm -hmm. Alan? Yeah. Quite that was part <laughs> of this committee. Exactly. I'm not trying to say that. It's only this committee, no, but it was a role in, okay, we'll get this curb jiggled over here and we're going to do this over here and kind of make it better, right? Mm -hmm. um, regular right-of-way issues, I mean, that's still us, but it isn't only us. No. Like, for example... Um, I know we don't like talking about the stakes and the rocks, like, but that's mm -hmm. kind of was in our purview. The 75 road taking issue was one of the biggest problems we had, and that's fixed now, but people still do it, but that's irrelevant. I think we should approach this, this is what I think we should do. I think we should approach this from a sort of a fresher perspective and say, look, 
we like to have a bite at the apple of this stuff when it comes to sidewalks, when it comes to improvements. At, you know, Mike's involved with adding the hoopy bike racks, for example. I'm trying to get hydrants moved to make more parking and I'm fix the loading zone. There's all kinds of good stuff that can happen when these sidewalks get, they haven't been, they're getting fixed, but they're also getting cemented. I'm talking about the curbing. The curbing's in sand right now, but they, they concrete that curbing when it's done, mm -hmm. that ain't moving. It's like once that's in, it's not coming out the way it did before. So I think we need to not get, we need to be very pro, you know, sort of think about how things used to be versus now. First way, 20 years of arguing to get that fixed. Now the whole, every morning, the kids are walking on one side, the cars are going on the other. 16 feet wide, you're practically hitting mirrors, nobody's speeding, mm -hmm. and you'd think that that was paid for 40 years, paid okay. for five minutes, yeah. in my opinion, yeah. because we fought for 20 years to get That's it done, right. and then all of a sudden, we gave up, and then people were saying, how come we haven't done it yet? Well, because you didn't want it done, <laughs> but now it's done, and it's great. So I don't know what the answer is, especially the right-of-way markers and the work that you did for the for the you know all the access yeah. access things the 10 foot strips the the, the the real estate program all that stuff picked packed together i have to take this call but i just wanted to throw that stuff in now because you're right. in here forever you know all that stuff. um you know following on what that okay. said if we can reestablish collaboration and cooperation as opposed to the tone of the letters, which sounds adversarial, hmm. whatever whatever it takes. Um, the, our letter was adversarial. No, no, no the letter. No, yeah, sure. Sure. I mean, I, I the, the initial request was merely for a liaison. We weren't asking uh, for you know to be a voting member or anything. It was just to be a liaison that uh, somebody could go. That had the time, and in this case, it was Snooky that volunteered, um, and and offer input um, from our meeting. And so, um, anyway, I think, I, think we, I think we did mention at the time. I think I did a slight word perspective and Alan on that for something as well. That a liaison is like an official title, and I think that's what got her attention. Is like yeah. it's, it's not like we're really interested in the uh, might yeah. come as a part of the public process yeah. as anybody else could in the book. So I just think that's a distinction. Um, one other thing, you know, we, we should talk to Libby, but this is a select board committee. Mm -hmm. It's not a Libby Gibson committee. And who may or may not have a different point of view. And so I think you have to think about how you want to engage that relationship and talk to board members as well. I mean, mm -hmm. they may have a different point of view. And I agree with you, uh, Al, uh, Rick. And I want to bring up something that's near and dear to you because you were on it. And I forgot it's on my list, but I missed it because I'm this lady keeps calling me and you talk to. Remember the street and sidewalk committee? We were mm -hmm. on both. No, there was an original. Yeah. And then there was a, it got reactivated. For the, because of the sewer construction. Sewer construction. That's correct. And again, I think that we should be able to weigh in on, like, let's say Gardner Street is going to be getting fixed, mm -hmm. okay? Fixed meaning, what does that mean? Well, they're going to be bringing the sewer up to Liberty, right? Taking a left, and just so you all know that, that's where it's going. And they're going to fix the curb, lower it a little bit, raise the sidewalk to to the height that should because it's all driven down by vehicles but like if they fix that and lower that curve a little bit the guy that wants to make the street one way i don't know what he's smoking but that's never going to happen that's one of those never going to happen things for a thousand reasons but we could make it easier make it so the vehicles can traverse up and down now that but like let's say there was a question should the road be widened the answer is no and, 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 and i'm saying that okay but because there's a solution the uh, kind of an old fashioned Nantucket solution. But if there was, if those questions were out there, let's just say, and the right of way committee had like one voice 
to just, you know, not from all of us, but from the committee itself, this is what we voted. We feel that it should stay at the current width, but just lower the curbing to two inches reveal or whatever the number they're going to use. We agree with that. That's it, that's the thing that we should be able to do, in my opinion. Not, and not that the, involves, uh, go ahead, Rick. A right of way, if it was going to be widened or not, because that's part of the discussion. Yeah, and that especially those seventeen ninety nine roads, hmm. stuff like in that. In terms of our responsibilities, sure. necessarily than whether they're re -brick bricking the sidewalks yeah. downtown. So the, yeah. the town area plan work group has got Gardner Street with it within its bounds. So it is it's something that the circulation subcommittee is looking at. It suddenly struck me. Yes. Go ahead. I'm listening. Yes to that. No, no one way system using new lane yeah. or, or something for, for. However, if we were to take the utilities buried down Howard Street and Howard Court, and then a brief way across, we could get rid of those power poles that are causing they so should much. should be on private property. Could, like like causing, Vladimir Kagan's one is. Causing so much Man. problem. But um, that would take a major effort on the part of utilities. But if the town were to get behind it, we could open up Gardner Street at least to be safe. Correct. No, no way should those utility poles be taken down. They should be moved. The streets a couple of feet. and roads on Nantucket are not wide enough to put the power lines underground because they take and put in a four foot well, no, by four yeah. foot concrete. Yeah. Snook passageway Snooky. and you can't get water lines and sewer yeah. lines from that That's side of the road Snook to that Snooky. side i didn't say bury them he, on he, garden he, street he, he, he was, i said howard he, which is not very far away one other path no, he wasn't talking about garden but that okay we're getting i don't mean to yeah, no i think we're getting uh, a, little, <laughs> yeah. in, in a little bit but but these are all issues though bill oh yeah no, in the last like 15 to 20 years have all come up yeah. various times in this group <clears throat> with the poll stuff the la thing i mean all these different things so I what i'm going to do is just uh i gonna resubmit or uh, we're going to send a new letter um as a follow-up and request that we sit down and discuss uh, what uh, our perceived roles are. Uh, what we can weigh in on, what we're allowed to comment on, and that kind of stuff, officially comment, not just, you know. Yeah. Bill, I'm, I'm going to suggest that we think that's good. Um, be as informal as possible yeah. and simply set up an email. Uh, may Alan and I come and chat with you? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's, uh, that was the initial. Uh, whoever chats with you, I think. So in the long lines you're saying, once you put something in writing, it becomes in writing. Yeah. And so I think you're better off to say, hi, Erica, we'd love to get to half an hour of this time, and two or three of us to just talk things over. You know, love yeah. the committee. Or something. Yeah. When you put that in writing, it, it adds usually something else, and there's another sentence, and they don't like word six. <laughs> well, then the lawyer doesn't get. I mean, I got the impression when I read Libby's response that there was a lawyer standing behind her. I don't, that, I don't that's, think literally that's the case. Yeah. That was one of my concerns, too. You know, I'm reading this letter, and also, um, we also are there was a letter sent out from Libby about the uh, to the different civic league members about participating in the um, updating the area plans and there was a whole list of regulations you know if you're going to be on this committee you can't talk to each other you can't you know yeah you know, my initial thought when i read all those um <laughs> since all since the i said you know who would ever want to serve on a committee when you didn't have any power and you couldn't talk to each other unless you're in a uh, an approved meeting and taking minutes and all that sort of stuff. I said, that's not how you ever get things done. Yeah. I mean, and that's why I think this committee was has been so effective over the years because we had a direct connection to the powers that would be, you know, whether it was Andrew Vorce or Libby or, you know, whoever was in charge of whatever the issue was. So, uh, we'll, just little... to get off this so we don't beat it to death, uh, we'll do a follow up and see if we can. 
Yeah. I just yeah. add one more yeah. piece of positive for this committee. Yeah. We have a direct DPW connection. Okay. Like the planning commission does. That can't be forgotten in this in this conversation mm -hmm. with her because that's always been there's always been an ex officio DPW representative exactly. on this committee. Good point. And it's always been walking, you know, I don't mm -hmm. keep talking about our walks. Yeah. But we've had walks with the previous DPW people and and Muhammad was directly involved with Prospect Street sidewalk, try, right. at, at least at the time, trying that's to fix time, all that. Right, yeah. And that can't be removed because that kind of gets a little more connectivity to town administration yeah. through this board. Well, that's all I'm saying. No, it's a good chance to uh, reinstate that because yeah. uh, our agendas with, go to uh, them. Go to them. It goes to two. Goes to two people in the DPW. Hmm. Um, and uh, you know, I hear through the grapevine we actually have a new director. So. <laughs> It's time. It's time no, to invite him. I know. Time to invite oh, him. Oh, we don't know if we. You know, I read the paper. That's how I know that. Oh, so that was a smart move. Yeah, whether yeah, smart or not, say that. Yeah, we just needs that needs. You know, he needs to be here. Exactly, and so or a designee, which is we we went through two or three people after. Um, yeah. How I soon know. I forget I left. I know. So we just yeah. needs to be um, corrected. So this would be a good opportunity. So yeah. all right, I'll follow up with that. Have you ever met him? Do you know who he is? Um, I might have. He worked for Western Sampson. He's been over here for a while. Yeah, since I, 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 heard, I, I know his bio. He knows Nantucket I have a in, a, in a roundabout way pretty well mm -hmm. by just being with that stuff. So. Um, all right, so moving Good. on. Um, just a quick update. Um, so, um, the Bluff Walk aficionados with uh, Snooky, Alan, Ed, and myself uh, did a follow up from the previous Bluff Walk. Yeah. Because um, when we went out to review the, the sign request, um, the conversation as we walked along, um, encroachments were pointed out by folks as we walked along, both town encroachments and private property uh, encroachments. So we decided at our last meeting um, to, to ask a group to go back out and, and note the encroachments wherever we saw them and try to correlate the issue with the street address so that uh, we could look at it overall. Um, included in, in that look was also all of the um, crosses across town property to steps down the block. And um, we actually referred that study to the Sconta Trust folks when they accompanied us on the um, side sign walk um, that that list did exist and that we would be reviewing it. Um, not that we'd be publicizing it for the, you know, so that uh, the visitor center said, could say, oh, go to, uh, access point two and you can cut across and go down to the down the bluff. But but our point is um, many, many, many of those um, were never permitted uh, properly um, and it needs to be done. Um, so we've noted all that. It's going to take quite a bit uh, to get that in a presentable form. Uh, when we when we have got that squared away, we'll come back um, to this committee with a report and then we'll pass it along uh, as this group uh, determines. Um, so that's that's just a brief report on, on what we uh, uh, did and what we observed uh, this past Friday. And and I let me just add yeah. that uh, we took notes uh, along the way of, uh, regarding the obstructions or the possible encroachments on the footpath and so on. So we also noted some. Uh, areas where the footpath has narrowed right. uh, towards um, close to the edge of the, the cliff. Um, and we noted that those areas may in fact be, um, may warrant a corral stockade, you know, the corral split rail fence. Um, uh, if there's determined that there's room within the 
the uh, right, right away for the easement. Um, we also noted uh, of the, on the gates of all of the stairways, which ones are marked private and which ones are not. Um, so, um, but, uh, Bill, what yeah. is the um, prospect for this report? Um, uh, well, we just did a Friday, and it's going to take um, next uh, next I, meeting. I, hopefully, it's by next meeting, but we'll it may take the meeting afterwards because um, Ed was the one that was doing the scribe work, and as we got going, he had, he had snapshots of the screen prints of the GIS, and we were running out of note space uh, because we didn't have it on you know legal sized docs um, to try to correlate it. Because the idea was to try to uh, look on the GIS and say, okay, we think we're in front of or behind number 26, and this is what we see behind 26. Um, we also uh, went by and noted that uh, 27 Baxter, um, we got a request from Erica uh, if uh, there was any issue with closing down 27 Baxter Road access point temporarily as the contractors are in there doing uh, renovations. Um, we're assuming liability-wise, they through the construction area, they didn't want to have pedestrians walking. Um, and so uh, our response was, we didn't see any uh, issue as long as the path itself remained open um, and that the closure was temporary and didn't become uh, a permanent thing. Yeah. But does that one have a name to it? It's across from Emily Street. It's Emily's? Okay. Gotcha. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and was that taken as part of this whole process or was it was taken? All yeah, it was taken as part of the process. And there, there is license agreements or something with the property owners to. Uh, who took it? Did they take it back? You know, some of these were like yard sales almost. But these are not. This is these are not. These, they actually took them. Gotcha. And there is a public way monument, a flush monument at both ends of, of that particular one. Yeah, the, the, this is not significant enough to go in the notes. My understanding is the town takes them and then sells back the half of the way to each abutter, maintaining a 10-foot easement down the middle. Yeah. And that's... So yeah. that it's when that's it, the right thing, yeah. It's well, open to the public. Yeah, I'm not sure that's what Alan just said. So we'll have well, to. It, it, it doesn't matter. It's it's well, in some cases, the lease back they, they don't sell the uh, the you know the ten foot strip or whatever it is. But this is the one that the Frederick Lane one. Is this the Frederick Lane compromise one? Do you remember mm -hmm. that? One? I so don't. This so Soros. No. No, 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 Soros is I haven't something. driven out there like to know exactly. I think there is a place. I should know 27 in my head, I, but I don't. Yeah, <laughs> Soros is in the 40s and it's that, across the man's closer. lane. That's, yeah, that's a little closer. Yeah. Yeah. Just yeah. 27 yeah. isn't on this list. Yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right. Plus 40. Interesting. Yeah, plus 40. So, um, anyway, so that's a brief overview of that um, trip. Coincidentally, right. under uh, new business, um, I received a request uh, yesterday afternoon from Erica, um, and it was asking if uh, Rosen Right of Ways has a list of priority roads in Sconset that uh, we feel should be taken by the county or town. Um, and so I looked at the the working list that's been modified the last eight, years. 10 years, yeah, um, where they were prioritized and reasons for right. and whatever. Right. Um, and I didn't see any sconset roads on there. However, I did uh, come across, um, well, and actually because of our walk this past week, um, we know that there's a, a list of items uh, out in Wisconsin that haven't been completed, such as the um, the access across town property to the steps we just talked about. Um, there's several of those uh, ways um, 
that I believe town meeting has authorized uh, doing. Um, so my initial response was, we don't have uh, a current uh, list of items. However, um, it would be nice to have a status of the ones that have already been uh, authorized uh, by either the select board or by town meeting. What is the status of those? Because I believe a good number of them are just sitting on the shelf and, mm. and haven't been done. Yeah. And so I would think before we do any more things like that in Scotland, that, that, that if there's time and manpower, that that list be whittled down yeah. and, and get it current. Yeah. So anyway, that was my initial response. I haven't replied yet, but I wanted to bring it to the committee. Bill, it's my recollection, I'm going to look at Rick, uh, that those takings that were proposed have been taken. I'm not sure all of them. In other words, I, th I think Soros, so we were negotiating, or he was with Andrew, and I was there for a while, and then I said, okay. I, I got to get out of here. Okay. <laughs> so our sta uh, status report would be the, better. The takings opposite, if it's Anson, whatever's at Soros, yeah. down to his uh, mother's lawn and give us access there right. and not straight across, right. which probably would be fine if it ever got worked out. But I, I just give that as an yeah. example. And there may be one or two. I, I would suggest we just take this, add the ways to this list and start having a spreadsheet and we can just all have it. Now, which list is? I don't know where this came from. This, I think, might have come from the uh, Jeff Carlson memo of 2015, I'm not sure, Alan. Yeah. That one with, with, with sorrows. Anne's Lane is a public way, according to Roy Sanguinetti when he was town council, mm -hmm. because I installed the water main in it for Sconset Water. Right. That was and that Jeff Carlson memo. Go right out was in the edge a of the memo bank. to Libby. It was not a public document. Well, uh, we should bring up the memo we're talking about because there was a pre presentation uh, by Jeff Carlson with that memo to the select board. So that made it public. And it was all public yeah. at that point. Yeah, interesting. And that is, that uh, list is uh, on our website, actually, I believe. It is? I believe so. If not, it will be. <laughs> um, anyway, can I go back to yeah. the comment? It, Smicky, is it your feeling that that should continue across Baxter to the right town. across where it originally was laid out. Just so we know. Yeah. In that case, if, if someone researched it, we should probably find that it's already done. Mm. But I never, I don't yeah. remember hearing that. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. That well, might be once that they get in done. there. <laughs> in the original layout, when Flag laid that stuff out, and, and it went through the eighteen hundreds land court. Right, I, 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 I know you know. I understand that. all that. I'm just pointing out that oh, yeah, whatever. Yeah, and I think a way for us to because this is right of way stuff. Yeah, yeah. is and, to get them on a list and we start knocking them off. Well, at the very right. least, I think taking the things on the list, whether they were done correctly or not, add them to the list, right. and in the notes, just like we did. Uh, where Quaker Road sidewalk, once again, yeah, sidewalk, another story. the lack of. So we, that was on our list and we've put, um, due to the cemetery constraints, it's not going to be possible. To put it. Casting idea. Yeah, so mm -hmm. the, you know, it's on our list, but there's yeah. an explanation of there. Otherwise, I mean, I'm, I'm looking at it for uh, institutional knowledge going forward. So yeah. if somebody goes back and says, well, how come those, Guys uh, never did something about this or whatever. Well, boy, they looked at it, and and this is the reason why. So, I think the more uh, light that's shed on it, um, no one, the be better it is. Not to prolong this, but another response to Erica in terms of our interest or in takings would be to get that list of the ways right. through Baxter Road, and they're part of this, and it's. You know, if 80% are done, it's nice to be able to say they're on the list, but they're done. Right. And here are two or three that still go on that list, and maybe we can get on the takings list. Yeah. That's basically what happened back during the 70s when they were taking roads, and then they would do partial, you know, they would meet, they would 
vote to do it and then they never followed through on it. So some of those so-called public ways were never actually public ways. And we yeah. found this down on Hubbard Avenue and Indian other, Avenue. Yeah. Indian Avenue is Indian a prime Avenue one. Is a prime famous exactly. Case. I remember looking up and seeing who the lawyer was. Yeah. <laughs> so we'd also gotten a request um, probably a year ago or more. Um, if Rosa right away was going to go back and look at 71 Baxter Road, um, where um, there's, I want to say, some, <laughs> uh, uh, a statement made that's, that the owner had put a hedge across the, the area there. Um, so we went out and I walked this past weekend and walked up there after we came back out on the back of the road um, and, and observed um, uh, what's the street that I bought to in front? Bayberry Lane. Bayberry Lane. Right. Yeah. So, um, so standing at Bayberry Lane, there is indeed a hedge uh, across there um, by the telephone pole that's there and a, and a um, also a buried bell system uh, connection. Um, and we didn't know until we stepped into the driveway and, and looked towards the lighthouse, Snooky pointed out um, that there was a vault there um, and some piping. It's, the piping's exposed, the vault is there, the top is um, askew, um, and so it's a real uh, uh, hazard if it is indeed a town away, town property. Um, and if it isn't, it's a homeowner's as a real dangerous section. So uh, just bringing that up that- uh, you, you did say 71, Baxter? Uh, yeah. Okay. Just so to bring that? everybody up to date, that is town land. That's where there was a booster pump installed mm -hmm. to increase the water pressure in Baxter Road before they built the new tank. Leland Topham was superintendent of Sconset Water, and it was done in 1954. The booster pump? Yeah. Oh, I thought you were talking about there was another thing that happened on, up there to give more water pressure in the late 70s, early 80s. I just can't remember exactly what they did, but there's... Stuff that people were either putting in their houses or something to make because there was bad up there. Oh, some of them put I mean, you booster put the pumps on, and it's like, okay, I had no shower. So, anyway, that's uh, interesting. So we, yeah, just I didn't noted, know about that. we just noted that it, that it is there. Um, and so, regardless, uh, well, but there's nothing to say that we didn't put things in land that we didn't know back then either. So, that's another catch 22. I'm yeah. talking about. It wasn't yeah. recorded or some yeah. other problem. Yeah. Are we on other new and all that stuff? Uh, that right. No, no, I didn't. I don't care. We, I just wanted to ask we've you guys. Stooped, no, all right, all right, so let me just finish with this one. So yeah. uh, we we went and looked and said, okay, um, uh, doing playing devil's advocate. Okay, there is there is a legit way here. There's a hedge across the way. Um, what's down towards the water? And so we walked down towards the water. Um, and obviously, if the if that is going to be a viewing area, there would need to be a, a <laughs> rail fence there yeah. um, to, to keep people back. Right. Um, but it would be a terrific viewing area. Um, and also, I didn't realize until I walked and looked down, there are beach nourishment devices. Um, and I... I because I don't know much about them, I had assumed that they were part of the um, geotubes, but I could yeah. be incorrect from, there because I didn't think they project. came that far down. Wow. But anyway, yeah, they, they wow. end just down from that, maybe 100 feet. Yeah. So this is, you know, relatively close to where you can look down and see that. Um, so, anyhow, if you get a chance, uh, swing by there and, and take a look at that. Uh, at the very least, it's sort of like the catch basins that, catch basins, the deep, the deep basins that appeared uh, in front of the Pacific Bank and some other places. Um, 
to my mind, once we make the town aware that it's there, um, we're on notice that there's a liability, and if somebody goes into the thing, um, we're in trouble. So I think we should follow up with that. The path, the Sconset uh, Bluff walk, used to go down to um, between 69 and 71. That's the lot we were just talking about. Um, but because of the erosion behind, I forget the name of the owner, Murchison or something like yeah. The first one. But basically yeah, it's yeah, that's 67. That, that that corner house. That's why we stopped the path where we did at number between sixty seven and sixty nine, where the path comes out right now. Um, so there's no way you can get you know because the path doesn't exist um, beyond that point. So um, that may have been a reason why the town never bothered if they didn't take that. Although you would assume that they owned it, if they did, we're putting infrastructure in there. But what? This is 71. that way that we are just describing. Oh, Seventy-one. You're talking. Seventy-one. Just want to make yeah. sure I got the town fathers, or at least the, the town staff, in my conversation with them, have said, "Yeah, the town owns it. No question." <laughs> that comes from an official. Yeah. yeah. All right. So it's a little late, but um, we'll put up. Just in case you wanted to see uh, uh thing here, where is it? Okay. There is Baxter Road on the screen. Um and uh I can see where So just to save time, I volunteer to take this and get it into Excel and give us a start of a template mm -hmm. that we can just add to. Mm -hmm. and then we have yeah. it's not hard to do. So there is there is 71 right here. Yeah. That's the house. I know that place on the back of my hand. And so the uh that's the little way they walk through right there, right? Yeah, and the telephone pole uh, yeah. is right here. Yep. And uh, the hedge that wreck is old house seventy three. The hedge that cuts across, uh, sort of blocking, semi blocking the, the walk in. Uh, behind that is the um, is the area. So you know, number sixty five has never moved it's over a hundred. That's about a hundred twenty year old house or more. Mm. Never been moved. Just, just an FYI. Are Very you asking to move it now? No, no, no. no. Oh. It's just a kind of a neat little yeah. footnote that that house was built over a hundred years ago in the same spot. The, yeah. the Singer house that have asked to move back now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I love all this stuff. <laughs> Let's see. This is since uh, since we got this up here, I'll show you. When did Ed Gillen leave? Uh, I've got it written down, please. I'll tell you. Um, so this is what I was talking about. Uh, look at the screen. Oh. Um, so this greenery right here is the hedge that goes across the road. I mean, excuse me, across the driveway. Oh, that part of the hedge was put in by Sconset Water That's to old. keep them from driving across okay. that pump pit. So that's that pit is you can see the the uh, stuff that's there. Um, that's that goes into the vault, and then you got the pipes. Um, so that's what there. So when you walk out, you can observe that. Um, and then if you go, this is from the street um, at the end of that. Um, the street that comes into Baxter Road, this is looking directly across. You go behind this telephone, uh, buried underground uh, wires, is that behind this hedge here is what we're talking about. So, um, anyways, that's so you know.
and uh, that was that. So now, uh, there's no questions or anything else. Um, Nat, you had something I just want to just it's just a general statement, observational. Everybody sees it. I don't go out Warren's Landing all the time unless I have to go out for whatever I'm doing, you know, all the way. <sighs> I was out there this morning. Uh, I, I go out there fairly I often. I know you do, and I'm <laughs> kind of looking at you a little. So the rocks there on the right, and on, well, they're actually on both sides at the beginning. Mm -hmm. That's new, fairly new. It is. No, it's within the last year. Now, I that's a private road. Mm -hmm. Now, there's a lot of misunderstanding about private roads versus public as far as, like, who owns stuff. Nobody owns to the center line unless they have land coded land, as far as I know. You have rights, but you don't own the dirt like you're paying property taxes. You still have a 40 foot layout or whatever the layout is, set back of your property, like all that stuff is still intact. I, I just feel that, you know, that the rock it issue, it. The, the whole rock issue of, of, and blocking nobody's people. in guard, Halloween guard at all. Hey, <laughs> hey, what's up, Jan? How are you? So, remember when we did the beautiful arrangement with Squam? Mm -hmm. And what was the one of the things that was part of that agreement was turnouts. You can't not have a turnout because otherwise your road ain't wide enough in the fire department and everybody's, you know, you can't pass three you Nobody wants a dirt road that's 18 feet wide. Like they don't need it, but you do have to be able to jiggle over and let somebody come by. Like, you know what I mean? That one section that I'm talking about of Warren's Landing Road right now, you can't actually, you you have to back up. Be like Co2. I mean, you got to back up like a ways mm -hmm. <laughs> to find a spot. Mm -hmm. not, not, and I think, uh, help well, me out. Yeah. Warren's Landing Road goes through um, Fishes when you go Fishes Landing, Jiggle Ran, right. that first section before you, you know, I don't know how to explain it. The first, okay. let's just say, uh, it, 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 feet. It eventually gets out to Eel Point and yeah. comes back. It comes back Steel, around. Yeah. yeah. Point Change Road. Steel Point Road before we even get to the end of Eel Point Road. Yeah. Actually, you look at the numbers, all of a sudden it's 137. Oh, it's Eel Point. Okay. Yeah. So I'm just saying that for future references and things about like rocks on Essex Road. There's rocks everywhere. If we could mm -hmm. use those rocks for erosion, we might actually get something done. <laughs> we, we, we're using all the rocks for the wrong thing. And we talk about moving poles, <laughs> put rocks everywhere. I, I don't know. I know that's not something that we can control, but at the same time, how many, I, when I talked to the person that I was at their house talking about it. How much right does someone have to block a private road like that to make it only be the width of, a, of one and a half vehicles? Yeah. Like, it's just amazing how many, I think it's become a kind of a trend. It's in a keep up. You've got to get me some more rocks, you know, and all of a sudden they're everywhere. Just, just yeah, wondering what you guys that, think that, about I'm, that. I'm not an attorney, but I have read the deeds and Jennifer uh, Ferreira has helped me out. If the deed says, to the road, it's to the edge of the road. The road layout. If the deed says to the center of the road, so it's actually spelled out on the deed. But I mean legally. legally. That's what like, I'm talking about. The difference. Uh, you know. it, 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 it can be property by property distinctive. Uh, what it this says is, this is an answer uh, to, to, to the center line of the way, and then they own to the center line of the way. If it says to the road, then they own to the oh, edge yeah. of the layout. Where is it now? Where's the all the rocks? Yeah. Um, technically, they call fishes. We I, I, one of the things one technically starts up at Vatican, right? Where are we going? Yeah. So this is oh, no, no, right here. I'm oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. So like this part, this the the first the section through here. The the first section. Yeah. Is like they really did a nice job. I mean, this they're is all serious rock. Up, I know. Okay, and, and Bill, they're Bill, right on the edge of where your wheels are. I mean, they're not even a little bit out of. They're in almost in the travel way. Bill, I mean, if, if, night, if, night, if you keep shifting, morning. keep shifting. <clears throat> yeah, at that intersection. Stop. 
at wow. that intersection this where right your here? cursor is, that's public. Yeah. From there to the water is public. So yeah. And, and, and of course, Eel Point Road going up there is private. Yeah. And aren't they putting the wires underground? Mm -hmm. like, aren't yeah. the wires going uh, underground sometimes? There are. There? Yeah. Well, that's because of the, the poles were put where the real road was. And real Eel Point Road was not where it was it's supposed to be. For, you know, that's yeah. all But the abutters pay for that. I'm just, just right. bringing it up as just a kind of a, okay, how far are we going to let rocks get put? Right. Until somebody yeah. hits that oil pan, gets in an accident out there in the middle of nowhere at night in the snow. I know it's not supposed to snow anymore, but it is going to snow at some tomorrow. Point. Tomorrow, and see, it's and, and, like and, it's and you know, it's just to me they're getting a little too close to the traveled way, in my opinion. Yeah, that's all. Just, right. just two, two, two quick thoughts. One, um, yeah, I think even if they own to the center of the road, right. uh, the public has a Right of passing and repassing. Yeah, they do. You can't block it. Now, I got into this when I was on the board and talking to Andrew, and he yeah. sent me uh, 500 pages of legal cases. It must be. And I've got a lot of them, and I'll be happy to pass them on. Hmm. And those rights impede, in effect, on the owner's exactly. rights. Exactly. They are prioritized over his personal rights when he restricts the public access. And if we add to the public, Emergency services, it becomes critically important. <laughs> you just go out and take a look. I mean, this is a little different than the typical rock formations. They use a lot. I mean, they're, they're not huge rocks, but they're just big enough to run underneath your car mm -hmm. and damage. do some serious damage. They did it on roads, they might disappear. <laughs> I mean, I just couldn't believe how many there were. I mean, it's like yeah. somebody really. Did a pretty good job putting well, these in. You I know? think it's an important issue because it once is. it starts, then the next guy does it. Well, it's been started a while ago. I mean, it started yeah. on Essex. I don't agree with that either, but but that's the homeowners association has gone along with that. But somebody's going to want to have a birthday party, and they're not going to have any place to pull over. But it's happening in lots of little places. That's all I'm trying to say. And I think it's something that we should just be. I don't know. They're all trying to become Lincoln Circle. <laughs> it's. Well, yeah, I, I remember when they were in, along Sankety Road as a kid, they had them. <clears throat> when they rebuilt the section coming from what we call Kennedy's Corner, where the split is around, state engineer had them come over with the look front end loader. <laughs> and they, they were just little ones like that, all painted white. He says, get them out of here. <laughs> and they cleaned everyone up. Along yeah. St. Kitty Road. Was well, a, that's a public road, though. Yeah. <laughs> so it has a real that was, That's a Chapter 90 road. <laughs> yeah. So. But to, you know, right. to Rick's Thank point, you. it is an encroachment. You yeah. can't encroach even on a private way, even if it's a yeah. private way. Yeah. You cannot block a private way. And that's what those rocks are doing. Yeah. They, and they it's all a little too far there. Well, no there. And they've also gone around the corner now, that house on the corner and then down. They've all got rocks lined up right on the edge of the road. It's, well, that's why I said, once you let it go, the next guy, yeah. then the neighbor, then the neighbor. Yeah, and that's mm -hmm. what I'm trying to say is like, I think, I'm not saying that there could be a town policy. I think there's no things to go that far, but I think there needs to be some. Like, I remember when Diane was working for the town before she went to the school, we were talking, and maybe I couldn't think about this fast enough mm -hmm. now. And, before we were talking, not Hinkley, but Gosnell. Remember when Gosnell, you couldn't see it. Oh, right. It's actually yeah. safer to pull out of Gosnell at midnight than it is in the daytime because you yeah. can see the lights coming. There's no video. Exactly. And I remember her sending out a letter to the Butters for this. This was part of our encroachment thing when Joe was on. Exactly. Yeah. That we, you don't want us to fix it, fix it yourself because it won't look as good. You know what I mean? That kind right. of thing. And I think that this, is similar to that in the sense of like, you know, you want your neighbor to have a an incident with their vehicle. I mean, it's, it's just too much, too many rocks and they're too close to the road. That's all I'm saying. I'm not saying there shouldn't be anything, but there you got to look at it. I actually couldn't believe how close they were. Like, oh, you're really tight here. It's been a while since I've been out there. So anyway, okay. thank you all. Sorry I missed a couple of meetings, but um, I'm here. Thank you.
Noted. Anybody else have? Uh, oh, just for the for the record, uh, Lee. Uh, he left at four twenty. Come on, Ed. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Um, any other new business or comments by the members? What about Easton Street? Pardon? On number six? Oh, the, oh, the chapter the 91 thing? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you. Um, so uh, the chapter 91 uh, was a minor modification uh, that was uh, done. And in looking at the, at the plan, the submitted plan, uh, it notes, I think it was a five foot wide uh, public access space uh, from Easter Street down to the water. And um, so the question uh, that I wanted to ask was, um, you know, how is that noted? How, good question. You know, um, it it mm -hmm. doesn't do the public any good to, to have that in the records um, and no way for the public to know about it. So we certainly don't want to have neon signs there, but you know how is it going to be noted, um, and who's going to um, put it in? It used to be. This is the one right at the end where I'll see if I can find it. Why you? Yeah, it's right. The, in the white room. elephant, right. Right. right at the white elephant, and it's the only place down there where you could step down, and there's a beach. It's about a 20, 30 foot beach there, and. So um, the land bank had looked at that property, except that you know they we wouldn't consider buying it other than the fact that it was waterfront and the beach. <laughs> but um, so the, that chapter ninety one access, I'm curious as to how it's going to materialize. As I say, you used to be able, and you can still walk in front of the white elephant all the way down to the end. And then there used to be stairs that would take you down to that lot at number 46. So, so that, I, you know, I think this is an important issue. Number one, mm, that it's on the plan, right. revised layout, mm -hmm. five feet down the north side of that lot. Mm -hmm. There's a bell. Yeah. Um, and then you get down to the water and sort of it isn't quite clear, but obviously the public has a right to trust and repass them. To the whatever. Right. Um, and I think we should have, if we thought about it or if we had been notified, um, written a letter and say, yes, there it is on the screen. The approval of this um, project, we asked those steps to be re re put back in now. Mm -hmm. And they would have done it. No yeah. problem. Yeah. But nobody, you know, it didn't get exactly. to us, it didn't get out of. Right. Concom's purview, they didn't care, so to speak. The right. staff didn't pay attention to that right. as we've asked them to. And so I, I have thought we ought to write a letter for the town, not our writing, but here, Mr. Town, here's what we think you could be helpful with, hmm. making sure that these are noted right. and that we're interested in a harbor walk. Right. And you encourage DEP on any application of for 91 around our whole harbor walk area exactly. that you help us so on the, on the screen right now is the uh, an older plan that shows a proposed and i'll look to see if i can find the updated document that it eliminated the same one i sent you go right. to the next couple of pages yeah so i just got to go back and find it hang on a second and the guy from the state who is the same guy who came to the forum he seems to be very friendly, and somebody just has to. I think the good news is that the chapter ninety one notice went into the newspaper. Right, exactly. That's right. when we saw it, but but we didn't get it from. How many others did we miss? Because we don't read every page of the newspaper, and that's part of like the a butters notice system that hasn't been modified since we had the rotary phone with a wire. Like you still have to have it in a paper. Like you can't, I've, I've always said email all tax payers the butters through their tax bill. Like I wish that could happen because people would get their notice for something. I'm not talking about just chapter, I'm talking about just any permitting right. in your neighborhood. You're going to get it. Who doesn't have email? 
Like this, but registered mail is like the train to you Wisconsin. Give it to me. <laughs> it's I like it in my crazy. Mail. I can put you. It takes forever. I can put you on the train, but it doesn't move. It's the club car. There you go. So, <laughs> anyway, but that's I, part I, of that. I think that's part of it. Yeah, uh, so with the, I'd yeah, like to yeah. propose we keep that as an action item for our chapter ninety-one list that we find some way to. Have a communication through the town with their permission and blessing, just right. as the town signed on to the letter coming from the concon to the crack right. to the town to DEP. Just following up on what I like, I know we got to go. I just, I just thought of something else from the past, Rick, mm -hmm. that you're going to remember, and I was going to remember on this back on the sidewalk controversy with with the town manager. I don't. I, I just. I just think we need to just. Try to circle that back to be mm -hmm. like start over kind of thing. Quaker Road, you made me think of something when you brought that up. That was a town initiative that failed mm -hmm. because of this the peculiar day when they went and did that, and the ground was frozen and they lifted up the sod. It was kind of crazy how that all happened. But we have always been kind of involved when it's something that's connect whether it's it's not directly a sidewalk always but it's connected to something else that happens to have the sidewalk as part of public whatever art. the conversation yeah. is so i think anything associated with sidewalks not necessarily a sidewalk project maybe that's how she interpreted it but we were involved with the program that brought the million dollars a year that we brought up earlier mm -hmm. that that's true I don't know how we've not become that, but we were. And I think it just needs to be reclassified or reclarified as to, you know, do we have some say in some of this stuff or any future projects? You want some input? I think input is good. I think that's an easy word for her to accept, especially with like the God in the Street thing. We have a fix India, for example. India needs to be fixed the same way. Just leave the curve where it is, but make it all the same height flush out from the building so the water runs out the street and you can keep driving down the sidewalk because you have to drive down the sidewalk in the street. There is no <laughs> choice. But I'm just saying if that came up, th those are the kind of things that I think we really should still be involved in that somewhat through the DPW, however that could work. And once he gets his feet wet, Drew, he'll, he's going to be the kind of person that will be engaged, I think. I think when Bill and I meet with Libby, we'll make that very point. Yeah, I mean, so. there's a lot of history stuff that you can bring up now that we were doing. Mm. Yeah, we're, we're, we're not. It's not like we just, uh, this is a new thing. This is old. It just maybe needs to be re. re we're, we're, we're not defined. trying to displace <laughs> you know, um, the responsibility of pedestrian safety, but yeah. we are interested in the well being of the sidewalks mm. um, so, for access. Well, it's all public access, and that's really what. Now the heart of Stone what Alley. roads and right away is all about. It's not all. So okay. Any uh, anything else to bring before the board? No. I believe our next meeting is slated to be November the twenty first. I will try and attend, but it is we'll be trapped. Priscilla and I will be traveling to our daughters. Uh, if we get there in time, she's got a hot spot, and I'll log in, but I can't promise. Is that a London trip? On the, yeah. what date did it's you say? It's Monday of Thanksgiving. It's, ours is an interesting journey. We're driving to our daughter. On Wednesday, she's putting us on the train. And we're going to our cousin, my cousin, Abby, in uh, uh, Clarksville, Maryland, which is outside of Columbia. Oh, that, for Thanksgiving. Going that direction. <laughs> Actually, you know what? I just realized something. Oh, the, 20, the 20, well, I'm looking at the screen because that's, I'm, in my head, I'm looking at my calendar. Which, um, the 21st. It's a Tuesday, actually. It's a Tuesday, yeah. and that's Thanksgiving week. See how quickly I figured that out? Um, and uh, I'm going to be in California. <laughs> so uh, obviously, you could still do a hybrid meeting. However, uh, if it's strictly all Zoom, I can attend and do a chair. If it's going to be a hybrid meeting, then somebody will have to come here and chair and facilitate the meeting. The chair cannot uh, 
the um, chair uh, remotely. Do we have a vice chair? Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. You just have to teach me how to work the <laughs> the apartment. Nice. Are so, you going to be? Are you going to be here this week? Are you going to be here that week? Um, how close is that to Thanksgiving? It's two, two days, two days now. <laughs> it's Tuesday for Thursday. Yeah, I'm going to be in Sudbury uh, for Thanksgiving, and I'm not. Why don't we just postpone it until December? We can. We, we can miss a meeting. And Pleasure we, of the boys. Yeah. And, and, yeah. If we, and if the Tuesday in December, you know, that's a good day, then we're yeah. all set. That sound good? Yeah. Sounds good. So uh, you want to use, so the next meeting, just so that we have to decide something. So usually what we, what are we usually the third or second Tuesday? Third Tuesday. Third. Yeah. Third Tuesday, third right. Tuesday. So the third Not this Tuesday. kid. The yeah, third, third Tuesday, Tuesday may be uh, too close to Christmas. I don't know. The third Tuesday is the 19th. That's not so bad. Uh, the 12th is the week before, which would be the second. That sounds good. I vote for that. Yeah, the 12th. All right. So, you know, wait, which month are we in now? Is this December? December. December. <laughs> so I'm not sure whether there's a hot spot where I'll be. On board the Queen Mary too. <laughs> oh, no, we did last time. We, remember? I, I, that they, they often are. So you, were, you were, you uh, were. Then you're supposed to say wherever I am at. Yeah, get that's what. Get Musk to just put his satellites right over you all for the whole trip. <laughs> Speaking of satellites, have you seen the uh, uh, Musk trail? I haven't seen it. I've seen the pictures of it, but I haven't. So seen it. Uh, a few weeks ago, we were outside. Uh, walking across the yard and you know, we had some visitors and my wife said oh what a lovely night look how wonderful this is. what the hell is that <laughs> and it's it's the satellites of the probably oh. 20 of them or so yeah. Yeah. and it just traversed across the sky yeah. um, visible I guess it's only a couple hundred miles up um, right. unbelievably clear bright, bright. Yeah. and uh, when it's so, uh, visible in our in our particular area, it's for several days and then it disappears and comes back again. But I'm, I'm calling Gail Walker right away. You know, I mean, a thousand of them out there they disrupt. Yeah, it. so it was yeah. quite the same. All right, so uh, right now it'll be December the twelfth, uh, unless. Oh wait, the twelfth? Yeah. Yeah. I have a land bank meeting on the twelfth. So invite him. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> Um, Cookies and ice cream. Yeah, because normally we would meet what on the nineteenth. Yeah, yeah. Um, so the nineteenth, so we want to stick with the nineteenth. That's the week of Christmas. I think I'll be here anyways. Yeah. Actually, the nineteenth will be more certain for me because I know I've got a hot spot in our apartment. Okay, so okay. let's stick Change with it to the nineteenth then. Let's stick with the nineteenth. Mm -hmm. I, I don't want to have our secretary uh, have a difficult time. No. One of us might have to be secretary. Thank you. that So the next yeah. meeting will be December 19th. Um, and with that said, we have a motion to adjourn. So moved. Um, and because um, Ed is no longer here via Zoom, uh, we don't have to do a roll call. Uh, just all in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Thank you very much. Nice to see you. And then I was going to stop the reporting here. Good. 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 What are they doing next? Oh, they have a lot of things. Yes, sir. Uh, yeah.